My car is a 1987 Volkswagen Golf GTI, also known as a Mark II. Well, I grew up in Germany, and seeing all the Porsches there pretty much was the birth of my car fascination. Well, I just liked any fast-looking car. Of course, you know, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, but, you know, in Germany there was nothing but Porsches everywhere. The 911s were pretty much what I wanted. Ended up settling for Volkswagens. When me and my family moved back from Germany, we moved into the house that we had before we left, and uh, it turns out that our neighbor is a Volkswagen guy, has a Volkswagen shop, and this was pretty much the infamous Doug of Doug's Bugs and Bunnies. Of course, he fueled my obsession for Volkswagens and cars in general, so I mean, he's, he, was, he was a big influence on that. I've always liked Mark IIs. Uh, they've just the, the cool retro stylings of the 80s was always just something that was really cool to me. I got this car as a trade for a old Chevy Tahoe that I had. It is a car of my choice. I have another one. It was essentially almost how it is now. It was already painted, already lowered, already had the wheels on it. I wanted a fun, bright car. Uh, with, got a lot of influence from my kids on what I should do to it. Of course, when I got it, the hood was primered, which is really lame. So had some spray cans laying around, some blue tape, put an Arizona flag on, on the hood. The sunroof, uh, it was faded pretty bad, and it definitely needed some paint. So I asked my four children what we should do to it. I think I had two votes for sticker bomb and two votes for checkers. Um, after seeing a couple of Mini Coopers out and about uh, and with the checkered roofs, we ended up going with the checkered roof. Honestly, my favorite part about this car is everything that I've done to it. Um, it was kind of bland and boring when I got it. Still a super rad car but I needed a little bit more character to it, and so it stood out a lot more, uh, which would be you know, the hood, the sunroof. Um, we have hardwood floors in the, in the back. Uh, I put a new interior. Steering wheel, I picked up from a guy from Germany who used to work for Volkswagen. It's a Talavanti that came out of a Volkswagen factory polo race car. I did the headliner in plaid just because, you know, I just wanted something a little bit different, a little wild, some, some cool stickers on the sides, and, um, yeah, I think that's a lot of that's my favorite part because, you know, not only I did it, but my, my whole family kind of took part in doing all of this. It has a 2.0 liter, 16 valve Volkswagen motor. Nothing too crazy. It's all pretty much stock, uh, but it is reliable. It's quick when it needs to be. It's got pretty loud exhaust, got three inch, uh, three inch pipe all the way to the back, and it's, it's, it's loud and it's fun and it pisses people off. Non-turbo. Do I want to turbo it? Yes. Will I get good gains out of it? Probably not. I'd much rather just do some cams, maybe a mega squirt fuel system, bigger throttle body, and call it a day and still have just as much power as if I was to turbo it. I do have a Mark III GTI, I believe it's a 97, uh, with a turbo VR6 motor in it. It is a very, very stout motor. Um, I think it puts out about 12 pounds of boost. Um, it is definitely an option to go into this car. Would have to do a lot of work, a lot of fun work, which I don't mind doing, but it's definitely an option. One of my other favorite cars I ever had was a 66 Bug. When I first got it, it was, as everybody called it, it was, it, it was pink. I called it Salmon. Tiny Salmon chasing that impossible dream. Anyway, so uh, that thing, I put a lot of work into that. It was just, it was a fun cruiser, uh, super low, scraped on everything that I could possibly scrape on. I ended up selling that to try to acquire a bus, but that didn't work out too well. Always looking for a bus. So over the past week or so, I've um, been seeing a lot of cool bugs at car shows and stuff like that. And, you know, even the, the kids always ask, like, what happened to your bug? So, you know, today I did acquire another bug. It's a 65 bug. It's gonna need some work, but it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna tear into it, get some welding, some body work, glass, everything. I have a motor for it, just it needs to be put back together. A lot of work, but I'm willing to do it. No big deal. That's, that's the point of having cars, being passionate about cars is getting your hands dirty, cutting your hands up, crying, bleeding, everything. Uh, just that's, that's part of the passion of having a car.
Go hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe, and comment, and share with your friends. You can also check out our website. It's garagejunkieapparel.com. We have all our shirts available for purchase. We'll see you next week.